So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. And today we're up here in Schuylkill County and we got a covered bridge behind us. So I'm starting my new, one of my new series on the different covered bridges here in Pennsylvania. And we're gonna start here at the Zimmerman Covered Bridge. So this idea has been in my head for quite some time to do all the covered bridges here in Pennsylvania. We have, fil I have filmed some videos on covered bridges already, but never turned it into like a series. Made a concerted effort to get to all of them. What's about to change? There are quite a few left here in Pennsylvania. Um, some counties have none, like Lebanon County, which is not too far from here, has no covered bridges. And here in Schuylkill County, there's just two. But down Lancaster County, there's a whole, there's a whole ton of them. So it varies from county to county. We'll talk a little bit just why, what the purpose of a covered bridge is, and then we'll take a look at this one here, the Zimmerman Covered Bridge. Tell you a little bit of history about it. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about the architecture. You know, as I make these videos, I learn stuff too, because I'm studying all these bridges have, they're, dip, they're made different ways, different architecture. Like this one is called a burr truss or a burr arch truss. And we'll go inside, I can see it right now. <laughs> I'll show you to you in a bit. But let me tell you where I'm at first. This is Covered Bridge Road appropriately. There's Naomi and just across the bridge is Route 895. We're not too far from the town of Rock, but if you go west it'll take you to Pine Grove. So that's kind of where we are. And of course we'll, we'll walk through the bridge, but we'll also, looks like there's a little trail down below. We can get a view of the bridge from down below too. So what's the purpose? Why have a covered bridge? What's the purpose of that? Why not just have a regular open bridge like they do today, these days? Yeah, so before we actually go in and check out the bridge a little bit, I want to mention what the purpose of covered bridges is. Obviously, the bridge is there to cover like a creek or stream or the body of water. I've heard different reasons why there's sides to them. That sometimes the sides, like this, these go back you know, to the 1800s, that the sides were on the bridges so the horses couldn't see over the edge and be scared or something like that. I heard that explained once, but the reason they're covered is because they're made of wood. Of course, they have a roof and roofing materials to prevent the wood from getting wet. Uncovered bridges, wooden bridges that were uncovered, were only lasted about 20 years, obviously, because they would rot. But if you put a cover on it, a roof, these covered bridges could last 100 years or so. So that's why they're one of the main reasons why they're covered. Same with your house. You know, if your house didn't have a roof, it wouldn't last that long. You know, but once you have a good solid roof on top, your house can last, you know, hundreds of years. So that's why they're covered. All right, so let's go take a walk through. Because so I think at the end of this video, we'll actually drive through too. Yeah, so depending on what website you read, I've heard different ages for this bridge. 1875 or 1880. I'm going to go with 1875. That's the one I heard the most. See, look, the arch. Remember I mentioned the name, that Burr Arch Truss? That's that arch. It's called uh, uh, a man named Theodore Burr patented that design, I think in 1817. And the truss refers to these posts. Like this is, a, this is called a king post trust. It's got the one big post and the two angles. That's a king post right there. It just had a car come through, but yeah, that's a king post right there. One up and the two angled ones. And it's, and there's multiple ones of those. Like it's a multiple king post trust. And then this is the burr, the burr arch. So a burr arch trust design is what this is. This bridge is about 50 feet long too. I think it was re, redone a bit in 1996. They lifted it off its abutments and kind of did some work on it, refurbished it a bit. And there's looking at it from this way. One of the shorter covered bridges I've seen, because the second one here that's in Schuylkill County, which is actually just down the road, maybe several miles, the rock covered bridge. That one's even shorter, I believe. The scenic spot. And just a side note too, if you do come visit this spot, of course there is a pull off, right where we, where we saw Naomi up there is the pull off. And actually there's, it looks like there's a pull off further up, but it's posted, they don't want you parking there. So just respect that. But there is a, uh, motorbike park off the side here. I was here yesterday, I was gonna film, but there's a ton of motorbikes here spinning around having fun. So it can get pretty loud depending on what day you come. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and walk through again. And I think we're gonna try to get down to the bottom there, get some views of it from the side. 
Gotta love the design. Still wood, wood floor. And not a whole lot of graffiti, just a few annoying pieces here and there. Yeah, like I said, right there is about room for about one pull off, but they've all no parking and no trespassing signs over here. So just respect that. All right, let's head down to the bottom here. So you can get a view down here and some pictures. That's cool. It's always cool seeing them from the side too. Oops, a little rocky, slippery. Looks like people come fishing down here. I don't want to slip into the creek. All right, we'll turn you around a bit here. All right, let's turn you around. Get a view of the bridge. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Looks a bit longer from down here. Beautiful covered bridge. Trying to get all of it in the frame there a bit, but yeah, they just remind you of time that doesn't exist anymore, I guess you could say. All right, yeah, I think that's some of the modern abutments there, concrete. I think that's what they replaced. All right. So we'll make our way back up. Not a busy road here. 895 is a bit busy, but this road doesn't seem to be too busy, but at the same time, just be a bit careful when you come here. Don't get run over in the bridge. And just another look at it from this direction. I always love looking down through them too. Of course, this one isn't quite as long as some are, but it's still pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna get a few pictures of my phone and I'll get back with you. All right, I almost forgot to take you on a drive through. Here we go. The Zimmerman Covered Bridge. All right, so I think that'll probably be it for this bridge then. The only other piece of information I have, I think, is another name for this is Schuylkill County Bridge number 114, I believe. Don't know any other interesting history about it, whether it's haunted or not. Some of these bridges have haunted stories, some don't. Bridge number one. I forgot, I forgot how many covered bridges there are in Pennsylvania. I thought to get that, I'll have to look that up. So this is bridge number one though. And number one for Schuylkill County. Only one other one here in this county. So there you go, Zimmerman Covered Bridge. All right, as always, make sure no car coming through. As always, thanks for coming along. And I'll see you in the next video, maybe the next covered bridge or somewhere else. All right.